Breaking news today. As sanctions take effect, Putin has demanded that the UK unfreeze Russian assets immediately. Vladimir Putin has demanded that the United Kingdom and its allies lift economic sanctions against Russia, without any conditions, as the restrictions begin to have an effect on the beleaguered country. The House of Commons Library reports that 1,604 people and 228 organizations are currently targeted by UK sanctions as part of the Russia regime. And the British government has set its sights on 130 Russian oligarchs who control a combined £140 billion in wealth. Earlier today, Dmitry Peskov, a spokesman for the Kremlin, told reporters, Britain and other countries that encroached on Russian assets are obliged to unfreeze them immediately without any conditions. Otherwise, they break every rule established by both their own laws and international norms. The United States, the United Kingdom, and Germany, along with other major powers, form the Russian elites, proxies, and oligarchs, repo, task force in March 2023 and pledged to redouble their efforts to make Russian President Vladimir Putin and his associates pay for their war in Ukraine. In 2022, the United States, Australia, Canada, Germany, Italy, France, Japan, the United Kingdom, and the European Commission formed repo to keep an eye out for sanctions violators. Even though Vladimir Putin predicted that Kyiv would fall within a matter of days, the war has now lasted over a year. Western allies' unprecedented amounts of military equipment and other assistance have been crucial, along with the Ukrainians' fierce resistance. Meanwhile, Ukrainian economist Vlad Vlasiak has claimed that Western sanctions are having unprecedented negative effects on Russia's economy, resulting in a £40 billion budget deficit for the country. He claimed that sanctions had made a major impact on Russia's financial institutions. VTB Group, which owns VTB Bank, Russia's second-largest bank, lost 614 billion rubles. To make matters worse, according to President Zelensky's advisor, most of Russia's banks need partners outside the country to facilitate transactions, such as Iran. Additionally, the Russian government has changed the law to make it harder for banks to process transactions, especially for members of the military. Russian airline projects are reportedly in no shape to present to buyers due to the economic devastation caused by the sanctions. According to reports, Viktor Basargan, head of Rostransnadzor, which oversees the Russian transport network, told a Russian parliamentary committee meeting that sanctions have prevented the replacement of essential safety equipment on domestic aircraft. Newspaper Commerçant quotes Mr. Basargan as saying, several hundred unscheduled inspections of airlines showed that companies operating Western equipment have a shortage of components, problems with the supply of consumables. These remarks follow rumors that employees of Russia's largest airline, Aeroflot, have been told to keep quiet about the disappearance or malfunction of safety equipment. Aeroflot said in a statement, all spare parts undergo strict incoming control for compliance with quality requirements, history of origin, and necessary certificates.